May 13, 1999. Rescue crews get the call. An 18-month-old boy has fallen into a well near a home in Mulvane. That boy, Jesse Krause, nicknamed Baby Jesse, is 17 feet below the surface. Cries can be heard as rescue crews and volunteers work as fast as they can to dig down and then across to the well shaft. Five hours later, cameras capture the moment that baby Jesse is pulled from the well. Words aren't needed. The rescuers' faces say it all. Jesse's alive and unharmed. Fifteen years later, that joy hasn't faded. So you're Jesse. I'm Tim Denise. Nice wow. to meet you. <laughs> How are you? Pretty <laughs> good. Cool. This is the first time rescuer Tim Deneen has seen Jesse since it all happened. It's like it was yesterday. I mean, it's, this is cool. This is, I feel really good inside. This is so cool. We sat the two of them together as video of the rescue played out. Jesse couldn't take his eyes off of it, and there's a reason. When was the last time you've seen this video? I've never seen it. You've never seen I've never this? I've, never, I've always tried looking for the video, but I could never find it. What do you think? Is it surreal? Yeah. It, it's cool. It's different. Too young to remember, but Jesse got to hear details of his rescue from the man who pulled him from that well. When we arrived on the scene, you were down in a hole um, about the size of a soccer ball. It's amazing. You f it, yeah, that's what I described. It was about that big around. Wow. We actually took a tape measure and dropped it down the hole and put it on the top of your head. You were 17 feet down, if I remember right. Was there he, fear that he could drop lower? There was fear that, because we were told it was 35 feet and he was sitting at basically 20 feet. But the rescue efforts worked and baby Jesse, strapped to a backboard, was raised out of a dark hole up to a cheering crowd. What's going through your mind at that point? Success. I mean, incredible success. And not just me. It's not me, it's a success for our whole fire department as well as the county fire department and all the other, I mean, there was an incredible amount of volunteers down there that night. And now Jesse gets his chance to say thank you. Without them, I might not be here today and you know, they, they did a lot, not just for me, but my parents and my family. I gotta thank them for everything they did that night. My biggest fear was where his head was. I mean, The rescue I, grabbed the attention of an entire nation from People Magazine to national TV. And here are the five men who did that. Tim Deneen, Dan Wegner, and Dan Black. Baby Jesse's rescue was a success story, and people couldn't get enough. It's not just a fire department and fire departments that pull together. It's a community that pulled together. <laughs> it just feels so good. You can't describe how good you feel when you have a successful rescue. And because of that effort, Jesse sits here today with big plans for his future. I like the medical field. I really do enjoy all the health classes. His success and moving on in his life is just makes that all worth it. I think that's just brings tears to my eyes. It's pretty, pretty awesome. It's where you are today. Really cool.